Welcome. Please put on your headphones, take off your night glasses and relax. Tonight we have a very special tutorial. The three-way, two-way railroad juncture station. The first and most important component of this project is the launcher and receiver of minecarts. This simple setup seems to work for breaking, storing, dispensing, and launching minecarts. Just be sure that the hopper connects to the dispenser properly, and don't forget to put a nice slab on that cactus. But first, let's take a step in and conceptualize the matter. Here is our rail, and here is our new station. We want players to travel in both directions on the same rail, so we must account for all possible paths, incoming from and departing to two separate directions. We'll understand it once it's finished. We need three switches where the players will stop and determine their location before proceeding. And here we are at the central outgoing switch. Looks like we're about to head north. Here's the redstone below. You won't be able to understand this just by looking at this angle, but it's just to show you that it's only redstone torches and little bits of redstone. It's very simple. There are many ways to do this. Just be sure that your redstone signals aren't interfering with one another. Test everything. Don't forget, to minimize switches, you can use gravity to move minecarts from one rail to another. Just drop the minecart onto the rail below it. Now let's try south. It works. Here's the incoming switch from the south. This is the bypass. And here's how to build a switch. The top rail is the main railway. We are building into it, making a T. But first, the redstone. Have a lever at the stop point, and from your lever, run redstone dust into this block beneath the redstone torch. The extra redstone torch in the middle is only to invert the signal, so that the lever is turned into the same direction as the rail. You may or may not need this. This B disappears somehow. What the frig? Ah, there it is. Oh, goodbye, bees. Redstone Tutorial.